Hi, I'm Steve. This video I'm going to show you how I make this vacuum clamping jig for pattern cutting on a table saw. I'm batching out a bunch of hexagonal boxes and I need to make a boatload of tops and bottoms and this is the jig that I made. So let's get to it. Okay, the first step is to mark a center on your pattern. Doesn't have to be centered but it looks better. And I'll just take a center punch as a locator for the bit. And I'm just going to drill a 7 16th inch hole through this to through this piece of MDF. And this has a sealant on it, and I'm, I'm chosen an elbow primarily because as I use this, rotate this around, I, I want to be able to position this air hose, and this will swivel. And one of these fine droppers I'll put on the end of it. the edges just in case this is porous enough. This is medium density fiber board so I doubt that it will be uh, required. Or maybe not. I'll probably put a wrench on it. Just don't put excessive torque because I don't think that MDF is going to stand up to a whole lot. It did tighten pretty well. So my quarter inch uh, push to connect fitting is attached. And now what I want to do is on the back side put a perimeter seal around here with this uh, closed cell foam. And I'm just eyeballing this. And on these corners I just want to Try to compress it didn't have to be exact okay now since the material I'm going to apply here is fairly thin I'm going to cut off a couple of strips just to keep the uh, workpiece from collapsing. Okay, now that the jig is made, I'm going to set the uh, saw up for a um, with the pattern cutting jig. And this is an Eigner product. It's made, I think they call it a saw boy. I don't use this very often. Uh, I probably would not have purchased it outright uh, but it was one of those accessories that that the previous owner of this saw had and I find use for it every now and then and this is one of those cases so I'm going to set it up I've got the the blade raised probably need to make sure that I clears yeah and what I need to do is use this block and I'm going to uh, butt it up against the side of the blade and I'm just going to move the fence such that this outside edge of the fence will be flush with the outside of the blade. And then I need to adjust the height of this. Let's see. Minimum stock thickness. I'm using three millimeter Baltic birch ply. And this is uh, just under, I think it's five and a half millimeter uh, MDF. And I just need to adjust the height of this fence. such that it clears the blade. 
but contacts the uh, jig. So with the thinner piece, I'm right almost to the top. And that will be good there. Now if this piece of equipment looks familiar, it's because I had used it in a previous video on uh, vacuum clamping for the shaper. Let's see if I can do this. Blue hose up here to this push to connect and this does swivel around. I've got roughly 22 inches of mercury vacuum. First, let's try the, uh, the MDF. Well, it sticks to the table good. Try two, then do two at a time. Well, I'm getting some stiction here. I wonder how far you can go with this. Five layers. Oh man. Well, at least I can move it with six layers. Uh, let's go ahead and do the uh, let's go ahead and do the Baltic birch first and try some experiments with that see what I can get so I'll just engage this on the uh, Baltic birch got good stiction and let's give this a whirl try to put the Baltic birch under this and see if I can actually move this thing. Put the Baltic birch ply under the MDF. The Baltic birch bows a little bit, but once you press down on it, it seems to stick. And I've got 22 inches of uh, vacuum. So let's give this thing a whirl. Let's see if I can get this 
getting out of here. I guess another option might be to put plastic under it or apply a sealer uh, coat on the MDF to try to seal that up. So that's uh, my pattern cutting jig, how I used it. I'm, I'll calculate um, based on the area of this hexagon and the vacuum that I'm getting, how much pressure or how much clamping force I'll get on this piece. Uh, once I get through this uh, issue with the porosity of the MDF, this worked pretty well. On the last one, uh, this particular piece of Baltic birch had a, quite a bit more bow to it than uh, than some of the other pieces, so it had actually had to press down much harder to get that bow out so this, this uh, suction would hold it. And then on, after I finished the very last cut, when I pulled this thing off, when I pulled this jig straight up, it actually, this was left on the table, which kind of surprised me. But that's the way I uh, do pattern cutting. This is my first attempt at using the vacuum clamp uh, with the pattern cutting jig and it works surprisingly well. I don't have to mess with double stick tape or pins or screws or nails and filling holes. So uh, this was uh, good for me from a production standpoint. So I thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments, please post them. I'll uh, answer them, try to answer them as best I can. Thanks for watching.